hello and welcome back to my channel the channel which dedicated to promoting a healthier lifestyle this episode is very special because I'm gonna take you through a sea to plate journey a few weeks ago a friend of mine Vince and I decided to go fishing trip around um, South Australia in local area Initially, as you can see later on this video, the water and weather was fantastic. However, as we was getting closer to our destination, the wind started to pick up and there was a strong current that forced us to go to the new places and try to new places and then we tried to new places to avoid a strong wind and current. However, despite all of those challenges, we managed to catch enough seafood for a family feast. Therefore stick around because I want to show you how you can clean and prepare your catch and end up with beautiful seafood stew which not only mesmerize your taste but also have a lot of health benefit for you. Then please keep watching. All right, first step is cleaning our catch. In uh, that trip, we caught um, two snook, which the fish you can see, and three blue swimmer crab. Uh, to clean our fish, I use flitting knives and I open the cavity from uh, basically through, from anus to basically head of the fish and open it up and uh, carefully remove all of those organs in the uh, stomach cavity. It's not a most glamorous job, but someone has to do it. Um, after that, I rinse the fish and now I, um, I usually for a snook fillet them for a stew or sometimes if I have time I smoke them with both of them is very nice to eat um, to fillet them again I using that filleting knife I cut behind the front uh, fin and I go towards the head and then uh, adjust my knife along to a spinal cord and just slowly cutting through as you can see you have to watch your hand to not cutting your hand or fingers um, as you probably this is a quite long fish uh, I had a bit of difficulty I need possibly a bigger chopping board but anyhow I managed uh, I, that is first fillet uh, because I skin this fish, I don't bother to um, scale it. Now I'm going to use uh, again uh, other side to make another fillet for other side. Uh, similarly, I just cut through uh, along the, the spinal cord, and it's fiddly, but as you do it more often, you get very good at it. And this fish doesn't have a lot of horn, therefore it's really not that difficult to fillet them. After filleting the fish, I'm gonna skin them. I use all of those heads and skeletal for stock. I will show you in a future video how you can make nice fish stock for a lot of seafood you're gonna cook. To skin uh, the fish, I go from the tail of the fillet, I cut through the meat, and I reach the skin. 
I peel the skin and push it toward myself and lift, uh, move it to left and right instead of moving my knife. And as you can see, my knife nicely cut under the skins and you're gonna have nice, beautiful fish fillets. Just like this one. I don't use this skin for a stock because um, this one has a lot of scales, but definitely those parts are gonna use. For blue sumac crab, a lot of people, they cook them as they are. Uh, I tend to cut them in the half and uh, because inside the, uh, those crabs, there's uh, inside of the stomach cavity, there is a lot of mustardy, um, material and also the guts of the animal which i washed them out using the cold water as you can see uh, there was one washed and also i peeled some of the shelf to make it much easier for later on for um, eating when the stew is ready i remove some of all of the membrane or anything i find a bit uh, less appetizing and here you go our uh, blue sumac crabs pieces they are ready and uh, we moving to fillet my family they are quite funny they, they don't like have any bones in the uh, fish fillet in the chest cavity there are few bones I use with the knife to remove them as you can you saw in that video and now are uh, chopping them to uh, smaller pieces and in that uh, stage our uh, fish and crabs ready and we have to move to next steps which preparing our sauce for this beautiful uh, stew this is ingredient we need capsicum red onion fish stock which we prepared before Kensk curry powder, uh, chopped tomato, tomato paste, turmeric, sweet paprika, fennel seed which is go well with seafood, some rock salt, asparagus, garlic, ginger, parsley, a bunch and few sticks of the celery. First of all, um, peel some onion and start to chopping them to small pieces. You can see my amazing chopping skills in this video. <laughs> and then uh, I add a bit of olive oil to the pot. You can see another pot, uh, water is boiling for the rice. I add a bit of salt here and then I add all of the chopped onion to the pot and it starts sauteing them in the low heat. The next steps I want to just skin some of the gingers using the spoon as you can see to remove the skin of the ginger and then I chop them with knife to small uh, pieces and I add them to the with the onion the next steps I cut some of the um, I use this time uh, fresh garlic I the four or five cloves uh, I skin them first as you can see and recently we bought a garlic press which my wife and myself we quite enjoy um, using it because it made our life much easier. As you can see, I add a bit of uh, already tomato paste, about one tablespoon of tomato paste. And now I add our ginger uh, paste to it as well. Meanwhile, you can see our rice in the background is cooking as well in another pot. Alright, therefore we have now garlic, ginger, 
onion and tomato paste see which started together I add already one uh, a teaspoon of fennel seed uh, one teaspoon of the turmeric uh, I add some paprika powder and finally I add some of our Ken's curry powder around one uh, teaspoon and a bit and then I mix all of those one uh, and saute them briefly for a couple of minutes and I open our um, chopped tomato can and add it to the mix then I mix all of those ingredients to uh, all of those flavor melt together and start them briefly and in that point I will going to add our fish stocks roughly around one liter of fish stock I add to the mix and mix all of those ingredients quite well together and make the in the medium low heat to slowly our uh, sauce start to come to the bowl and that time I start going to use uh, cooking my rice uh, my rice is already cooked and now I use a colander to get excess water and starch out of the rice to not overcook and I rinse them with the cold water which is again remove any ex excess starch and also create a bit of more resistant starch each time you hot and cold rice you create a bit of resistant starch which is the research is good for your gut health and macro organism in our guts after rinsing our rice i add a bit of lavash or tin bread in bottom of the pots after adding a bit of oil i top it up with rice as you can see in this video i add a bit of uh, pink salt to our rice Then I add a bit of boiled water in order to uh, create uh, just a steaming our rice as they cook gently. A bit of olive oil and final touch is cumin seed. There's cumin seed with the rice and that is stew that goes really well together. I highly recommend you try it and then i'll put low heat and put the lid and get back to preparing my sauce for fish stew first steps it's basically cutting our capsicums to thin slices as you can see just like this is this video when all of those capsicum is cut to thin slices I add them to our pot as you can see the mixture start to boiling I add the capsicum mix them briefly and put the lid back and start to chopping next ingredient which in that case is our celery obviously I wash the celery and chop them and I add one chili green chili to the mix this is optional um, it's give a bit of heat as well it's not that hot but it's give a bit of nice flavor and I mix all of those ingredients together Look at this color, it's beautiful. It's already, you know, appetizing. Then I'll put the lid and let it cool, uh, cook slowly. 
Now, um, the next step is adding our seafood. Starting with the crabs, which takes a bit longer to cook. I add all of the crabs in the pot and I make sure they are all merged in, inside the sauce. If I felt a bit need more extra water, I add uh, a bit of boiled water and I put the lid and let it for a couple of minutes, about five, six minutes to boil as you can see. I check, it seems like um, our crabs is cooked, a uh, blue semi crab uh, when it's cooked it, it turned red as you can see. And now it's time to add our fish pieces. It's optional but I coat my um, fish pieces with very fine um, wheat flour. That gave a bit of thickness to our uh, stew. And then I chopped our asparagus as well. In that point, I add our fish pieces to the pot and I make sure um, all of the fish uh, pieces being uh, merged in the sauce. As you can see in this video and when I'm happy um, with that I add our chopped asparagus to the mix as well in the top uh, to the quickly and gently cook as well. The fish and asparagus doesn't take a lot to time to cook five six minutes really is maximum as the fish and asparagus they uh, cooking I chop some uh, parsley as you can see and when the chopped is ready I add the mix to uh, our parsley to the pot Gently mixing them with the sauce, put the lid and I switch off the heat. After a couple of minutes, food is ready to serve. Look at this beautiful seafood. Before we conclude this video, I want to just highlight why you should incorporate such a diet or food in your weekly plan. The seafood, in general speaking, they are a rich source of the protein. We know the protein is essential for all ages, especially as we get older. Because when we get older, we tend to have a lot losing a lot of muscles and having good source of the protein combined with the exercise helps us to maintain our muscles and then we can have healthier and happier lifestyle as we get older another benefit of the incorporating seafood they are rich in a lot of healthy fats such as omega-3 which helps our cardiovascular system function better also they have a lot of vitamin and minerals which make our entire body works much better especially our brain and nerves which that means not only you look better and healthier your brain and mind work also better as well I think that wrap up our sea to plate journey. I hope you enjoy watching this video and you learn something and I hope you can make that seafood stew for your family and friend. Uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, until next week, uh, stay happy and stay healthy. Thank you for watching.